Alright, sure. So that didn't really do much at all. Alright, so in between games, I'm gonna switch out these cameras. Uh, considering that didn't seem to work. Man. Well, anyway, here. Chris taking up with that rat play. Blake figure out what he wants to do about this board now. Yo, Cheeky Master, thanks for the sub, the two-month sub on Earth. Thank you keeping the lights on, keeping this traveling show on the road. This shindig rolling in the zoos. Yeah, do do what they do. Dry and pop. Uh, I think Sean won the circuit. I can't confirm, though. Can Cannot confirm. Oh, wait. I think we may be able to get it. Oh! I think we got it, boys. I think we in there with the camera working again. Got there. Alright, so Chris tried to couple together. We interact with Blake's board. Blake has on our face down, obviously, too. And... The Blossom putting in a lot of work. It's really just... I mean, Chris meander around his board. And he doesn't get exposed himself too much, or else he's going to risk getting, uh... Just comboed out on Blake's following turn here. Think about where he wants to place his Dryden down, it looks like. It looks like he's going to put it in the... Extra Monster Zone, occupied by the Bundle. Yeah, Chicken Master, it's all good now. Your sub did it. It was it was all because of you. Looks like uh, Dryden's gonna pop Dryden. Then we're gonna chuck a nine back to the Dryden, and then uh, Tiger Mortar onto the Dryden. This is what I believe is about to happen. Yeah, so Tiger Warner goes on top of the Chuck and I. Chuck and I is going to detach. Or Tiger Warner is going to detach Chuck and I from itself to target Dryden, putting Hammer Kong under the Dryden. And now Chris has that uh, opposing Zodiac Barrage on lock if he wants to, or can use something else. Oh, I actually have a Mistress Radiant here. Unfortunately, it's no longer Day 23, so we cannot queue up the Day 23 meme. And he's going to pass it right over the Blake, looks like. Oh, Blake's not getting himself for that one. And uh, Chris is going to scoop it up and decide, yep, that's enough. I'm too far behind this board. Let's go to game two. Blake Funderburg taking game one here in the ARG 6 Summer Invitational Top 16 cut. With uh, Zodiac Kaiju, a, a more pure version of the Zodiac deck. I'm Mike Knowles, waiting for uh, other commentators to get in for the day. I know my Albanese plans on joining us at some point once he gets in.
All right, so Chris starting off this game two now with Thoroughblade, getting to uh, so that you rat to the yard, which could be pretty helpful with cards like Combo Nation and uh, other such combos he's trying to make. Also, let's loot for another card. Possibly want to interact with Blake or maybe set up the other half of his deck, being the true Draco cards. Brubble's going to get in here. Search for Zodiac. Finding Whiptail. Oh, uh, he so he so he, uh, he actually shortcutted, uh, making Hammer Kong into Brubble, detaching uh, Hammer Kong, uh, spinning right to the yard. And uh, Chakodai's going to loop that uh, Hammer Kong back on board. Chakodai's going to put something under the Hammer Kong. Sub Zero, oh one two seven. Thank you for hosting us, man. Always good to get the uh, the word out about ARG. And Dry goes to the extra monster zone and Kong on the back. Uh, does he have to detach for the Kong now? During the end phase? <laughs> Chris being like, you got Kaiju? Uh, no, but there's a Dark Hole, so all that becomes irrelevant. It looks like he's also working with Ash Blossom, a Cyclone, a Thoroughblade of his own, two other monster cards. I think the one case starts at 10.30 or 11. I'm not exactly sure. <clears throat> Cyclone's going to hit Apocalypse, I think. Third blade's going to let him loot away one of these monsters for hopefully another card. Let's loot Rat. Oh, Ragagi. Yes, excellent. That is uh, definitely the kind of card he's looking to loot for. It's really early because I'm only four hours sleep for the weekend because the beds at the Hilton were literally bricks. Me and me and my fellow judge who shared a bed were we were we were not, not, we were never not getting sleep. We're just that's wrong. We're just never getting sleep. Yeah, Kai just really had a really good showing at this event. Uh, I I think a lot of things me and some other people thought about was that we thought that the best decks to play were just pure decks. So either playing pure Draco. And just playing like Demise or playing like Pure Zoo. And Ka Kaiju Zoo is pretty close to Pure Zoo. You're just translating out some trap cards for Kaijus. And it looks like it looks like we're seeing a lot of the uh, math coming out to fruition here. And he's going to loop the Dryden back uh, using the play we saw Chris do during the last game. And he's going to make Tiger Mortar. Put it under. He might also have a Whiptail Hand uh, to then put another material under it, which would be pretty sweet. Let's see if I'm going for a Radiant here at some point. No, I think a, I think a Kong. He doesn't have access to a Rad yet, so he can't, he can't, uh, he can't Radiant. Like get, use Rad to special on a Rad and then. Have a ready. He's gonna try to the Thoroughblade. Everybody's gonna discard a rat and draw a new card. It's a spell card. I can get a good look at it. I don't think it's Barrage. I think it's a uh, not Heritage, but the other spell. I need to set them pass up the bluff his way through this turn. D touching for Kong. I think he drew Ghost Ogre for turn, it looks like. See, the Ghost Ogre and the Blossom, I feel like. Looks like he's going to lock. Oh, yeah, he drew a Geki also with the uh, Thoroughblade loot. So, yeah, it feels, feels pretty on lock at this point. Uh, especially because we know Chris isn't really working with much. Ram Ram. He's pretty safe to get through there. I mean, the TTs or anything like that is just like, okay, I'll float. So he's just going to poke in there with that and the uh, Kong. Not get too aggressive.
Pack it over to Chris. Oh, Chris actually had a D burger. Okay. Now Chris, 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 so Chris's eyes looks like he's just fixing on a dryden. He might be assuming there's a hand trap because he hasn't played much else. Uh, but he doesn't know that there's two hand traps. Here's Spucko we're talking about. Activation of the continuous spell. J Blake Sarnia Siphon wants to dry it or Ghost Ogre. <laughs> and that Ghost Ogre is going to take care of the, field of the continuous spell. Ends up detach. Going back over to Blake now. We pick up a cyclone. No fear of this back row now. <laughs> Mr. Rumble doesn't get charged to tribute, so uh, doesn't look like he gets charged to tribute. So it looks like Blake's free to keep pushing forward. Our bubble's gonna go searching. Get that rat. We'll be surprised to see the bubble get taken out for a mistress radiant here. Try to go for the throat with some damage. Instead of XYZing over it. It looks like he's not really thinking about that at the moment. Right, he's going to chalk a nine. Get back on our Dryden probably. Or a card to make a Dryden on top of. A Chris thing about response to the summon of chalk a nine. Whatever Chris has, you better do it soon, because uh, he's running out of time to really respond and uh, keep clear. Okay, so here we go. Let's go get Cyclone, and Chris is actually going to scoop it up. Blake Funderburg takes this match 2-0 against Chris LeBlanc. New kids on the block for PBG, beating the uh, old guard who left. Chris just draws, unless he spreads out his card, it's not really working out for him. Blake, though, this pure zoo variant, just being very consistent and letting him do what he needs to do here. All right, guys, we're going to get you, take you back to the best of the ARG Circuit Series while I wait for top eight of the Invitational. Don't go away. <laughs> 